Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the points of intersection on a parabola. So, if we have a graph of some parabola, it might look like this, an important question that often comes up is, where does the graph intersect the x-axis? Now, in theory, one can simply find this by setting y equals 0 and then solving for the corresponding x values. But it's not always so clear how one should go about doing that. So let's go through some examples. Let's say we have y equals x squared minus x minus 20. Well, in this case, it's helpful to note that this can be factored. We can rewrite this as x minus 5 times x plus 4. And if you're ever uncertain about your factorization, you can simply multiply through and see if you get the original equation again. So if we're trying to find where y equals 0, then we want this to be equal to 0. That will either happen when x minus 5 is equal to 0, or when x plus 4 is equal to 0. Well, from here, it's fairly simple to solve for x. We have x equals 5 and x equals negative 4. But you won't always be this lucky. Sometimes you'll be given a parabola whose equation won't factor. Even a simple modification, such as changing one coefficient, can make that happen. So now we have y equals 2x squared minus x minus 20. So how do we find the x-coordinates of the points of intersection? What we're going to do is use a formula that many of you may have seen before. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where we're assuming that our equation is written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this case, a is 2, b is negative 1, c is negative 20. So let's take those values and start plugging them in. So negative b, we get 1 plus or minus b squared, negative 1 squared is 1. 4 times a is 2, and c is negative 20. All this is over 2 times a. 2 times 2 is 4. OK, let's try and simplify this a little bit. So 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 20 is 160. We have two negative signs, so those will cancel out. We end up with 1 plus 160, which we can simply rewrite as 161. All of this is over 4. Now, this is not a very neat formula, but it is a perfectly valid way of expressing a number. And the plus or minus sign indicates that we have two solutions here. We have x equals 1 fourth plus 161 over 4. And we have 1 fourth minus the square root of 161 over 4. Both of these again, are perfectly valid ways of expressing the solution. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just gone over how to find the points of intersection on a parabola.